Catholic Mass Readings and Reflections July 6, 2023 Feast Day of Saint Maria Goretti, Virgin and Martyr First Reading Genesis Chapter 22 Verses 1 to 19 God put Abraham to the test. He called to him, Abraham. Here I am, he replied. Then God said, Take your son Isaac, your only one, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him up as a burnt offering on a height that I will point out to you. Early the next morning Abraham saddled his donkey, took with him his son Isaac, and two of his servants as well, and with the wood that he had cut for the burnt offering, set out for the place of which God had told him. When they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. Next he tied up his son Isaac, and put him on top of the wood on the altar. Then he reached out and took the knife to slaughter his son. But the Lord's messenger called to him from heaven. Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he answered. Do not lay your hand on the boy, said the messenger. Do not do the least thing to him. I know now how devoted you are to God. Since you did not withhold from me your own beloved son. As Abraham looked about, he spied a ram caught by its horns in the thicket. So he went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering in place of his son. Abraham named the site Yahweh Yireh. Hence people now say, on the mountain the Lord will see. Again the Lord's messenger called to Abraham from heaven and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you acted as you did in not withholding from me your beloved son, I will bless you abundantly and make your descendants as countless as the stars of the sky and the sands of the seashore, your descendants shall take possession of the gates of their enemies. And in your descendants all the nations of the earth shall find blessing all this because you obeyed my command. Responsorial Psalm I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Gospel. Matthew chapter 9, verse 1 to 8. After entering a boat, Jesus made the crossing and came into his own town. And their people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking, and said, Why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is easier, to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, Rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowd saw this they were struck with awe and glorified God who had given such authority to men. Reflection Your sins are forgiven. By saying that the sins of the paralytic are forgiven, Jesus proclaims that spiritual healing goes with and is even more important than physical healing. He shows himself capable of both. Many Catholic shrines display signs of physical healing. 
The most impressive of them are the crutches left behind by people who have benefited from God's grace. Still, the presence of confessionals and the regular schedule of confessions in these shrines remind us of a deeper need which we must address. Spiritual Healing We need to be cleansed of the toxins of sin. We need to be nurtured by Jesus who is the bread of life. An ancient Latin dictum summarizes the ideal of cultivating both mind and body. Mens sana in corpore sano, a healthy mind in a healthy body. As Christians, we should also say, a healthy soul in a healthy body.